Hello, thank you for joining me on this very foggy day. I'm in Beaconsfield in Buckinghamshire. I'm just walking down this path in residential area and in front of us here we have a bridge over the Chiltern main line. So what we're going to do today, we're going to stop and see a train here, then we're going to go to Beaconscott to see the village all nicely lit up. So while well, it's foggy um, and it will soon be dusk, so we'll get to see what Beaconscott model village looks like by night rather than in daylight, because I've done quite a few videos there in the daylight in the past. Look how foggy it is. Beaconsfield station is just beyond the next bridge and you can't see it's there. So um, I don't have ever quite seen the short main line this foggy looking that way towards High Wycombe. Um, what I'm going to do then, I'm going to hang around here, we'll see the railhead treatment train, once that's gone through we'll walk on to Beaconscott Model Village and we're going to go and have a look round and see all the lights. Well, that was the foggiest conditions I've ever seen the railhead treatment train in. Um, so there we had 66.522 and 66.507. I'm going to carry on walking this way now. We're going to go to Beckenscott. Looking forward to seeing it all lit up at night. It um, should be very atmospheric with all this fog. So let's walk up to Beckenscott. I'm just walking down Warwick Road now where Beckenscott is situated. So we are almost here. There we go. That's the sign. We're looking for Beckham's Cotton Water Village open. So here we go. Here we have arrived at Beckham's Cot. Obviously it's not dark yet, but um, with the atmosphere of the fog, we'll have a little walk round the village in daylight. We'll go for a ride on the train as it starts to get dark and then um, we'll go around the village um, when it has got dark so we can see how the village looks all nicely lit up so as we have done before we arrive nicely like says welcome to Beckham's Cot here's the Mark 1 carriage so just got to get my ticket and um, get my ticket there and then we go so I've just paid to get into the village so as we walk along beside the souvenir shop and ticket office the Mark 1 coach here we have the Beckenscott Light Railway and today they have their tram out. See it says Beckenscott Electric Tramway. So what I'm going to do, go for a ride. I thought I'll see if I can go for a ride now and then um, I'll do another ride later on when it's dark. So um, we get to see it both ways. So let's go and have a ride on the Beckenscott Electric Tram.
Well, that was a fun trip on the Beckham Scott Light Railway on their tram locomotive, two carriages behind. So now we're going to walk up, we're going to go and have a look around the village. So a couple of years ago I did a series of videos where I covered the whole of Beck and Scott Model Village in about six parts. So in this video it's really just to see the lights, but do have a look at those videos to see the village in more detail. So here we are, here we have arrived. Um, getting dark now and still quite foggy. It's gonna, I thought we'll show it to you in this light and then we'll have another look round when it's really dark. So there's Chesnaid Zoo, which is um, Chessington and Witchnade together. So um, as we come up here, we should um, start to see the lit up model village. When we arrive here at Green Haley Station, which is model of Beckinsale Station, you can see the lights are on, so um, we won't have to wait too long and we'll see a train. Um, the railway line runs off in this direction and um, you can also see more gauge one tracks down there. It does a big loop around the windmill all and coming along. Is a, that's Dan's vans, that's a rail motor. What we'll do though, um, I'm hoping to see a train come along here because I, I like this section. This is quite new, this is their brush factory. And you can just see behind a row of shops all nicely lit up. So um, let's just hang around here and I'm sure the train will come along fairly soon. That's Q, their southern region Q class locomotive. Some of the trains have got lights on, so um, that they'll we'll be able to appreciate them more when it gets dark. Here's Clark College, the university. And there's um, just over there is North Beckenscott Station. So Beckenscott, the main town, has two stations. Oh, and this is what I was hoping to see. Just coming to the station now. Have a look at this. It's something a bit different. If we chase this train to the tunnels here, have a look. That is Father Christmas's train, so let's watch him go past. So here's Beckenscott, the main town. And from here, we get a great view over the lake and can see the whole village as dusk falls, as night falls. Here's Beckham's Scott Minster. See if you're singing Christmas carols. Leave them to sing their carols. We'll go further into the village and um, see what else we can see. It'd be good if we could see that Father Christmas train again when it stopped. That's Mary Lou Station, the main hub of the Beckenscott Railway Network. I'm going to look over there. I can see the Father Christmas train. It's going to be hard for the camera to pick it out, but. He is just going around the lake over there. But just have a look at this scene. There's a signal box. That's where the gauge one model railway is controlled from. There's the harbour down there. Here comes Father Christmas. I, could, I just saw the train pass through the station, so he's about to come over the viaduct, so we'll watch him from here. And what he'll do, he'll go through the signal box and um, come into the station. In fact, he might even stop in the station, so if he does stop, then give us a chance to, to have a look. Or has he, st no, here he comes, yeah, coming now. Oh, no, that's, that's not Father Christmas's train, that's their other red tank engine. 
Oh no, look, he's, he stopped over here. There he is. Oh, yeah, he's just leaving. He's just coming. Which will go under the tunnel. I think he's probably going to stop at Mary Lou Station. Um, so this time it will be Father Christmas. So, the miniature Father Christmas, that's how he gets around on a train. What I think we'll do now, we'll, um, we'll have, a look at, have a look at the new town. Um, there's one other thing I want to show you while it's still lightish, and then um, we'll just see, let it get dark and see what else we can see. So this is Beckham's Court, New Town, with its tube station, Hampton Road. I can hear the church bells ringing up at the big church. Hoover Lux, that's um, a model based on the Hoover building. Here we are, up in the main square, Beck and Scott Newtown. Got, um, this is the town hall of, um, I think it's Longeres. It's the town in France, the Beaconsfield, is Twinworth. Church bells have stopped. Always enjoy coming up here, seeing the new town. And of course, the views you get from the new town over Beaconscott. This building here, you may remember a while ago I did a video called Lost Stations of Uxbridge. The real building featured, it's called Debenalls here, but in Uxbridge it was a department store called Randalls. What I'm going to do now, um, there's one thing around this side of the village to show you, and then um, we'll wait for it to, for night to fall properly, and um, we'll have a look around when it's really dark. Um, might need a torch for that, but it should look quite spectacular. So, it's just got a very nice atmosphere here with the fog and the, um, the daylight fading away. That's Epwood Racecourse. Well, that is really bright on camera. Epwood Racecourse, sorry, not Epwood, um, Winchwood Racecourse. Just beyond this hedge here, something new and exciting. Look at this. Winter has come to Beckenscott. We've had a little snowfall, and the weather forecast predicted no snow over the wider village. Just snow here at Evenload Village Green. You can see everyone's got their sledges and someone's making a giant snowball. Yeah, really, winter really has come to Beckenscott. What I'm going to do now, I'm just going to perhaps go and get a cup of tea and then we'll come and have a look round further when um, the night really has fallen.
I've just had a second ride on the train in the dark. So what I'm going to do now, we'll go and have another look around Beckenscott, see it in the real dark and we can see all the lights and um, well, just see how Beckenscott looks at night. So we come in, there's not much here because this is the zoo and I suppose at a zoo it would all be in darkness. We've got a torch as well. See how this looks. So as we get to the area above the lake, down there's Green Haley Station. I can hear a train. Yeah, there's a train just coming up round the windmill. Look out over there, you can see the various buildings lit up. I'm not sure if this is a train with lights on yeah, I think it is. So what we'll do, we'll then try and follow it round. So you see the station and the train it's just going round the windmill now. Um, and yeah, there it goes. Can you see that? You will see it any second. There you go. We hear it more than see it. That's Brighton. It's not stopping, but if we go down here, we can see it go past. So as Brighton disappears off into the night, we come into Beckenscott Town once again in full darkness. But there's things you might not normally notice, which you can only really see in the darkness. Have a look, that's the town hall. Inside there's actually there's a whole table all set up, which many visitors don't notice. And down there we have a group singing Christmas carols. This is Beckham's Cot Town Station. I can just hear a train coming in. It's GK, it's GK Chesterton stopping at the station. And up at the Minster. They're still singing their Christmas carols. So we'll just have a bit of a walk around right into the heart of the village in the dark. Um, we'll go up to the Beckenscott New Town because I think that looks particularly spectacular at night. You can see out there the bandstand in the middle of the lake and just see the reflection. So I showed you around here earlier when it was still daylight but now let's see it at night. Something really nice about just being up here in the daylight, um, sorry, in the in the dark. It's also very nice in the daylight, but being up here in the dark, it's just, um, yeah, just, just quite exciting being in this miniature land and I'm the only person here. Everyone else has gone home. Most of the other visitors, wait, just when it got dusk, I'm the only one who still seems to be here. But the church bells are still ringing. I can still hear trains going around. Just walk down this street here and back out into the village. There's Devon Halls again. We'll go and finish over here by the fairgrounds. So, I've had a great afternoon here at Beckenscott Model Village and evening and um, hope you enjoyed it do come and visit them um, if you're watching this video just after I've published it you can still catch them they're open until the 20th of December so why not come and see the village 
for yourself at night. If you're watching this a lot later on, then just come and visit Beckham's Squat anyway. And um, if you want to see it an, at night, this happens every year. It's an annual thing. You get to see the village lit up towards the end of the season. I know I was finished by the fairground, but actually, I've changed my mind. I thought I'd take you down to the main lake. And we'll finish down here. So, thank you very much for watching. Please do feel free to like, subscribe, and comment um, from Beckenscott Model Village. Thank you very much for watching. Goodbye.